The normal calm of East Texas may be disturbed over the next few months with a federal court suit that was filed here today in Tyler by State Senator Oscar Mosey of Dallas. Mosey, representing several voters here in East Texas, has challenged the constitutionality of the redistricting plan of the House of Representatives. This one joins the suit already filed in Houston against the Senate districts, and one already filed in Dallas against congressional districts. So, as some had predicted a year ago, the legislature worked on it and went into state court. It's been through the Constitutional Redistricting Commission. Now it finally goes into federal court, hopefully for a final settlement sometime soon. We asked Senator Mosey the basis for his suit. Black officials in Dallas have told me they also intend to go into federal court on this House districting plan. There also may be other groups, and they may all intervene in this particular suit filed here today. Senator Mosey feels like he can get a settlement of this case within three months because a similar case was handled in three months in Louisiana just recently. The timing is critical because we already have residence deadlines, and then there are the filing periods in February for the May primaries. This is Roger McDonald, Channel 8 News on the Move in Tyler.
live with myself, I particularly wish to assist in certain projects bravely initiated by our citizens without guaranteed revenue, but rather only an abiding confidence in their city and this region. I must admit to you some degree of envy for that person who becomes the congressman for our new district. And I must say also that the outpouring of interest in and support, even in some cases from far sections of Texas, for my seeking other offices prompts me to be so presumptuous as to believe I might still truly ask for some other post at another time. But at the same time, I have absolutely no regret as a result of my decision. On the contrary, I am eager to work at trying to be a better mayor for Arlington than I have ever been before. We attack it basically on the basis of deprivation of 14th and 15th Amendment rights under the Constitution of the United States and uh, that the deviation in population is too great to stand the test of one man, one vote. Violation of what rights in what way under the Constitution? The due process of law guaranteed by the Constitution of the United States as has been upheld in the many redistricting cases throughout the country in that, uh, well, first of all, there's a crazy quilt system. Some counties have single-member districts, some counties don't. Some urban counties have at-large systems, some urban counties don't. It uh, also, the suit alleges that the population deviation is larger than is necessary, that the districts could have been drawn to be more closely aligned in numbers and to have been more compact and contiguous than they are. Uh, frankly, uh, Jim, I was shocked. I can't see how that we can take a weak, ill-conceived ordinance such as this when we've had months and months of uh, study by our, stu our study committee uh, made up of citizens. We've had a recommendation by our planning department. We've had a recommendation by our planning commission and how we can take this weak, ill-conceived ordinance dictated by the sign industry. Now, you're saying that Councilman Smith is merely presenting an ordinance that has been dictated to him by an industry? Well, I think that this ordinance here was written by the industry. It actually favors... He says, the wait a minute, he says he wrote it over the weekend. Well, let me just say that this ordinance favors the sign industry heavily, favors the sign industry. I think that we have an opportunity to go forward in the area of visual pollution, and we can control visual pollution. Why take a step backwards? This ordinance is not as strong as a, possibly our own ordinance that we already have in existence. Uh, we've had uh, a number of, of sessions and, and, and study meetings, and I think that uh, we ought to pass our present ordinance. John and Dal. <laughs> Come here. Well, Judy, well, Judy I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's too hot. 
two groups that came to see me at my Wednesday meetings and I tried to, get, <laughs> tried to get them together and they did get together. I think it's worked out real well but I don't know the uh, exact names of the groups. It makes you a little breathless, doesn't it? You know, I said, <laughs> here, we better hurry here. <laughs> you know, uh, I said earlier that uh, nobody can say we're not pollution minded. Last night we were down at City Hall after midnight on sign pollution, day up at seven o'clock on something that would prevent air pollution, and then next week we're going up to Washington to serve on a panel uh, regarding noise pollution. What about places for bicycles to park? It ought to save a lot of space, but are there uh, any accommodations for them? I have heard talk that uh, some of the new downtown buildings are going to have bike racks. This is something that I'd really like to look into. You know, it's another thing that uh, about bike riding in this day and time with these 10 speed bikes is not near as difficult. But it sure does get you out of breath, easy. <laughs> this is my little 11 year old girls. I tried my boys, if the seat was up too far, my feet won't reach the pedals. You gonna get one of your own? It's not a bad idea. Might try that. 